the fast-paced world in which we live. News happens every day. In this high school, the dedicated anchors who report these stories are members of an elite news team known as TV2. These are their stories. Welcome to the Chief and Report from Logan High School. Today is Friday, September 4th, and I'm Paul Duffy. And I'm David Vickroy. Today on the Chief and Report, we have Nicole Wilcox with weather and Lane Little with sports. Now here are your announcements. The deadline for the October 24th ACT is approaching quickly, so make sure to sign up before time runs out. The deadline is Friday, September 18th. Attention, Beyond the Bell participants. The Hopes Blooms Club is moving to Monday starting this week, and Pep Club is moving to Fridays this week for the rest of the year. AAA is starting to hold teen driver education classes at their office in Logan. The next available class is October 5th, and for more information, there are flyers in the office. On Saturday, September the 5th, the annual stage combat lessons will be held from 10 to 4. The cost is $10. Lunch will not be, be provided, so bring your own lunch. In national news, late Sunday night, while accepting his Video Vanguard Award, Kanye West declared his bid for the 2020 presidential election. Good luck, Yeezus. In local news, the Bremen Fire Department, along with the Logan Fire Department and 13 others, responded to a three-alarm fire at the Seafrit Company in Bremen. The Seifert Company has an estimated $2 million in losses. John Seifert, the owner of the company, recently built a new facility and should be able to continue with business. Now here's Nicole Wilcox with your Chieftain Weather. Good morning, Logan High School. Here's your Chieftain Weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 90 and a low of 64. We aren't too far off from the record high of 100, 101. However, thankfully, we're very far off from the record low of 24 degrees. Tomorrow will be very similar today to today with a high of 90 and a low of 64. There will be a chance of thunderstorms. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 87 and a low of 63. Monday will be partly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 63. Tuesday, there will be a chance of thunderstorms with a high of 87 and a low of 63. And the, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Nicole Wilcox, TV2 Weather. Now here's Lane Little with your Chieftain Sports. For the first time this school year, Chieftain Sports is back. And this week you have the boys golf team, boys and girls soccer teams, and the Logan football team. This past Tuesday, the boys' soccer team hosted the Alexander Spartans in a non-league matchup. Ezra Bucky led the Chiefs with two goals, as Caden Landis, Cody Cook, Seth Primer, and TV2's own Nicholas Kuliper all added one goal, as the Chiefs win 6-1. The same night, the Lady Chiefs also hosted the Lady Spartans in a non-league matchup. TV2's own Nicole Wilcox scored the first goal for the Lady Chiefs, and the Spartans never bounced back, as they win 4-0. This past Monday, the Logan golf team hosted, the, hosted Warren at Hogan Hills Golf Course for a dual match. TV2 zone Paul Duffy and Hunter Pfizer led the Chiefs in scoring at 37 and a 38, leading, leading the Chiefs to an 11-stroke victory. Right, the Logan Chieftains and the Athens Bulldogs have not met on the football field in over seven seasons. Last Friday marked the return of the historic Route 33 rivalry. The last time the Chieftains lost to the Bulldogs was back in 1995. The last time these two played was back in 2007 which the Chieftains won 62-7, to making, the, making that the 12th straight victory over the Bulldogs. Now here's Brian Fleming for more on the Chieftains' 13th straight victory over the Athens Bulldogs. Last Friday was a great night for the Chiefs. The senior heavy team headed onto the field looking for the W, but in order to get it, they needed some help from underclassmen such as Jensen Wallace.
got the interception after I fumbled the ball. I felt like I really redeemed myself and didn't let my teammates down. Bryce McBride had 328 rushing yards and three touchdowns. Lane Little had 225 passing yards and three touchdown passes, all thrown to Isaiah Smith. Hopefully we see the same thing tonight when Taze Valley shows up at Chieftain Stadium. Good luck. See you tonight, Chiefs. Here's some things you would have heard or seen if you weren't there at the game. Thank you, Brian. That's all we have for this week. Until next week, Lane Little, TV2 Sports. Now here's a look at the new LHS recycling program. What can be recycled here at Logan High School? Well, pretty much, we can recycle pretty much anything um, except styrofoam. So things like plastics, one through seven, numbers one through seven, all those can be recycled any kind of paper, newspaper, magazines, white paper, colored paper, um, cardboard, including paperboard like cereal boxes, cracker boxes, things like that. Plastic film can be recycled like grocery bags, aluminum cans, tin cans, pretty much anything except for styrofoam can be recycled. How do these changes in the recycling affect the economy? Well, um, believe it or not, recycling actually creates jobs. Um, for every one job in the landfill industry, there's 25 jobs in the recycling industry. And believe it or not, the recycling and remanufacturing industry actually employs more people than the auto industry. And finally, how do these changes affect the environment? Well, recycling is a very important way that we as individuals can help protect the environment. It really does reduce pollution. So, um, overall, Recycling and remanufacturing is 194 times more effective in reducing greenhouse gases in addition to all of those things. So recycling is just, it, even on a, just you recycling on an individual level really helps protect the environment. So we as a school can really do a lot to help protect the environment as well. That's all from us today, Chiefs Nation. Until next time, I'm Paul Duffy. And I'm David Vicroy. From TV2, The, the Deuce. Deuce.